Welcome to the 11 points countdown. <laughs> Today, we are counting down the 11 most overrated US landmarks as voted by more than 3,000 readers of 11 points. I'm Sam Greenspan, joined today back by popular demand, Colin Marshall. <laughs> You're giving the people what they want. Right, let's count down these U.S. landmarks. The number 11, most overrated U.S. landmark, Mount Rushmore. It's weird that it's real. Like, there's a mountain with faces carved into it <laughs> yes. in America. I've never seen it. You've been there. I've though, been right? there. I've driven through South Dakota, and we stopped at Mount Rushmore and did the very brief tour, because there's not that right. much to see. You walk sure. up, and there are the faces, and then people can tell you trivia. Like, you know, this is George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. They right. may or may not have owned slaves. And, you know, this is what, <laughs> how they're yes, carved into a that. mountain. And that's really all you get at Mount Is Rushmore. it weird going by seeing faces? It's, it's, there's faces in a mountain. Number one tourist attraction in South Dakota is Wall Drug. Now, that's yes, worth yes. going to. That, I've that, <laughs> number two is Mount Rushmore. Okay. The number 10. Most overrated U.S. landmark, the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. This, is, I think, speaks to the failure of American historical education. Do you know or have you known the Liberty Bell is anything but a bell with a crack in it? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Uh, I, it's, it's a bell with a crack. And, and last night, as I was researching, I looked it up because I realized, I don't know why it's cracked. There's not even, like, a folk tale about why it's cracked. <laughs> right. Everyone's just like, oh, it just cracked one day. Should go like, crack? <laughs> I don't know. Like, shouldn't there be, like, a, a story about it? Like, some revolutionary right. was hitting it? We and, like to make up stories in America. Right. Right, that's, that's what we do. It's like George Washington chopped down the cherry tree and then right. rang the Liberty Bell and cracked it through his honest heart. Like it's just, right. it's just a bell with a crack. It, it's know. just a bell with a crack. Right. We can, that's number, how we sum it up. Number nine, most overrated U.S. landmark, the Willis, formerly Sears Tower in Chicago. Do you think that building still attracts visitors? It can't. There's right? no like, way. Because when we were growing up, it was the tallest building in the world. Yeah, it's, it was it's the, the Sears tallest, Tower. tallest, biggest. Right, and so no you bigger. had to go see it. Mm -hmm. And then you go there and you realize, it's, like, I have friends who like have offices there. Well, Sam, we, we can't all go to the Patronus Towers. Right. We've <laughs> got to stay at home sometimes. Right, and, and, or someplace, you know, whatever Dubai has these days. Yes, yes, yes. For more talk on Dubai, see my previous episode of 11 Points <laughs> <laughs> The number eight, best U.S. Lo not best, most overrated yes, U.S. landmark. very different. The Gateway Arch in St. Louis. You, you can go up in that thing, right? Is that, it's go upable. you can look down I've only seen it from a distance. Mm. Can you go up in the Gateway Arch? Does anyone know? People, <laughs> help. That right. in and of itself speaks to why that's a bad monument. I mean, I grew up in Seattle where we have the Space Needle. Right. And that is one of those things that it's iconic, but also meaningless in a certain sense. Yes. Same for the Gateway Arch. It's, it had a lot of meaning for somebody sometime, but now we're stuck with it. The number seven most overrated U.S. landmark, the Alamo in San Antonio. Mm. This is another one of those things I think education failed us. Like, do, do you know what happened to the Alamo? I mean, a, a battle, well, I suppose. There was a, there was a battle. Me Mexico the and Texas kind of slugged it out. But I feel like we talk about that, we automatically get thrown into one of these post-90s discussions like, well, it, the white men were bad. They were, they were the white men, remember? And the, but the Mexicans were kind of cruel too. Yeah. And it's funny, when you said we were going to talk about a post-90s Alamo discussion, yeah. I thought you were going to talk about Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Oh, sure. Because <laughs> that, that was my frame of reference yeah. for Yeah, well, we can get into that. Right. I don't think we have the time. <laughs> number six. You don't get that reference. Why, why would I not get that reference? Because you don't, don't like pop culture stuff I like do. that. I do. All right. Keep, keep it rolling. Number six. Oh, most I, should just, I should just walk off. <laughs> we lose you at number six. Mm -hmm. Number six. Most overrated U.S. landmark, Times Square in New York City. Don't you kind of wish, though, you could go to the taxi driver Times Square, like the, the sort of hooker town. The, the right, as opposed to the, the modern like Olive Garden Jamba yeah, Juice Times Square. Yeah. Yes. It's now in the class of like a fisherman's wharf or something like mm. that. You know, or a, or a Sunset Strip. Is that our fisherman's wharf? Places that, that might have been grimy once upon a time but are right. now just totally. I, I wish for the real rain that will wash away the modern Times Square and the modern <laughs> fisherman's <laughs> wharf and the yeah. modern Sunset Strip. Number five. Most overrated U.S. landmark, the Atlantic City Boardwalk in New Jersey. Did you know that that's the thing in Monopoly? Like, that's what they mean. That's yes, the boardwalk. That's, yeah. that's the most valuable Monopoly property. Yeah. They're all real places in Atlantic City. They are. Interestingly. Although, I saw recently, like, a website went and actually found the values of what places are worth now. And oh, I bet it's pretty sad <laughs> yeah. in some of those. Well, Park mm. Place doesn't exist anymore. It's, by the way, it's now, like, the entrance to, like, the Harris Casino. Oh, boy. Is, is all that Park Place has become. So that's not $350 properties no, anymore. Sir, no one's building hotels on Right. <laughs> Number four, most overrated U.S. landmark, Epcot Center in Orlando. Oh, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, I think. I believe that's right, yeah. It was supposed to be a city. Did you know that? Like, Walt Disney had this idea for a utopian city. Right. And it was going to be a city, but it right. just there turned There probably in... weren't Jews there. I was going to say. <laughs> it's, I mean, Sam Greenspan, give me the Jewish perspective here yes. about... What does the Jewish community think of the apparent anti-Semitism of Walt Disney? Everyone sort of moved on at this point. Really? It's just like, so you can go to Epcot. As a 10-year-old, 
I, I knew nothing of the anti-Semitism. Right. And I loved Epcot Center. And now I've, I've been taught as I get older that they hated Jews and Epcot sucks. But in right. my memories, neither of those things is true. There's no reason for the chosen people to go to Epcot Center. <laughs> You've got better things to no, do. We choose better alternatives. Yes. Right. Number three, most overrated US landmark, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ooh. my hometown. Oh, you're from Cleveland. You're a Clevelander. Yeah. yeah. I was out last night, uh, not to brag, with a lady. I know there's been some doubt by about the way, that, by the, the way. The comments <laughs> all just were like, not a chance. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was getting to be midnight or so, and I was like, I gotta drag my ass to Santa Monica tomorrow to, to do this 11 points. Right. So I was like, hey, what do you know about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to her? <laughs> and she was like, um, it's this guitar shaped thing with a pyramid in it, and it's got pictures of rock stars and, and costumes that they're wearing in the pictures. And I was like, oh, she thinks I'm a dork. <laughs> like, so if I, fumble, if I fumble this because of that, I'm never coming on the show again. It's just so boring, and I'm so disappointed because it's so much potential. But the Hall of Fame did induct Steely Dan finally, and I really like Steely right. Dan, well, so. Number two, most overrated U.S. landmark, the Mall of America. This is just a big mall, right? It's, this well, is it's not just a big, it's the it's big mall. The it's big the mall. biggest this mall. This is why, I'm sure you've had foreign friends visit America, and you find yourself just apologizing for the state of America. Like, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. Did America just give up somewhere in the mid-century? We're like, we're the greatest country in the world, so fuck It's it. because of giant shopping malls. We're like, mm -hmm. well, well, we've achieved the pinnacle of human innovation. We right. have giant shopping malls. Walt Disney wanted to make a utopia, but they did it in Minnesota, <laughs> right. let me tell you. Yes, uh, so many Sbarros. And the number one most overrated U.S. landmark is the Hollywood sign right here in Los Angeles, California. Oh, <laughs> Hollywood sign. But I wonder, does anybody rate the Hollywood sign? If you were a tourist coming here, and we didn't live here, and we right. weren't such, such, you know. We weren't such assholes. Right, right. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know that it inspires such hatred to be on this list. It's just sort right. of there. I, I like I like when I'm right. driving and I see it, I'm like, oh, there's the Hollywood sign. That's but fun. anybody who lives in Los Angeles knows that the real Los Angeles is found in the Second Street Tunnel, where it's like the, the cradle of modern car commercials. You've been in that tunnel, <laughs> yes, right? Yeah, that's, like, yeah. that's so much more emblematic of Los Angeles than the that, Hollywood sign. That's shown on film more than the Hollywood sign. Oh, it, very much yeah. so. That's it for our U.S. Landmarks list. Colin Marshall, please check out his podcast, Notebook on Cities and Culture. Colin is wonderful. You can see the full results of this poll on 11points.com. Please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out 11 Points because top 10 lists are for cowards. Thank you, Colin. Thank you.